Hey, hi everyone. This is Mukesh from learn-automation.com. In this video, we'll talk about how to handle bootstrap login or pop-up window in Selenium WebDriver. So for many of you, you must uh, be new for bootstrap. So let me show you what exactly I mean by a bootstrap login or pop-up window in Selenium WebDriver. So let's talk about high-level agenda. First, we'll talk what is bootstrap model window or you can say bootstrap model window dialog and how to handle this kind of model windows. So uh, solutions, uh, it's very straightforward. It's not a separate window alert. Uh, it means you can directly perform any operation based on a requirement. So let me show you how it looks like. I have created one example for this. So if you're not aware of bootstrap, I have already discussed in my previous tutorial what is bootstrap and how it is getting consumed in many of the application. So you will find the bootstrap model dialog here in the bootstrap section from uh, w3school.com. When you click here, you will see a separate uh, window is coming, right? So what exactly it means, a model plugin is a dialog box or a pop-up window that is displayed on top of the current page. So when I say top of current page, it means it's not an alert window, it's not a separate window. So you can perform any operation directly on it. So I just simply copy pasted this code on my blog. Uh, so if you want to create your own model dialog, you will find this code here. So I could just copy pasted code on my blog and I just did some modification. So if you click here, you will see some model dialog will come where it will ask you username, password and login, right? So now you can see the same scenario has been adopted by many of the applications. So even if you go any web application nowadays, you will find this model window. Even if you go with make my trip, go Ibibo, red bus, you will find this kind of pop-up. So when you click on sign up, this pop-up will come. So this is called the bootstrap model dialog window. Even if you try with red bus, you will find the same. In some of the application, you will also find the frame scenario. So I will show you how you can handle the frames as well. So let me show you one by one. So I will go to Eclipse and I will create a new class and I will say handle a model window. Okay, I have already written the code for starting the browser and opening the application. So I just copy paste from my previous example. And as of now, I will provide my blog URL. So that's all. It will start Chrome browser. It will start my web application and it will set the implicit weight of 30 seconds. So now let me click on this. So right click on this inspect in fire path. You can see a very lengthy X path is coming, which is not reliable. So let's write our own X path. You can see one text is coming on top of this button called click here to login. So we'll try to search for a button where text equal to this. So you can see one matching note. So we have written a very good XPath. So let's go ahead and I will say driver dot find element by XPath and simply I will say dot click. So when I say dot click, it will start with this model window. So you can see very lengthy XPath is coming again. So you can write your own XPath. As of now, for this example, I will simply copy paste and I will write my username called Mukesh underscore 50. It's very straightforward. I'm not writing any switch operation. And if you run this code, you will see it will work without any exception. So it will start application, it will click and it will type Mukesh underscore 50. Right now, if you try to see the same scenario in different web applications, so let me show you with Goi Bibo. You can try with your application as well. So let's say if I want to click on sign up first, now you will find one tricky part here. So as of now, I will take the X path, but I have very important trick here to tell you. So if I want to write my own X path. I can see it's a hyperlink so I will write hyperlink which contains text equal to sign up so you can see 
even though I have written a very unique XPath, the two matching nodes are coming here. You can see here. So one is this and one more. So this is not uh, visible and this is visible. So what will happen if I try to use this XPath which is matching with two nodes? So let's try. I will simply clone this uh, handle model window. I will copy paste. Yes. So I will go and update the URL because this time we are going to try with GoIBibo. Let me just update goibibo.com and implicit will remain same. Now I want to click on sign up link so I will use this X path which is matching with two nodes. Now as I told if I click here this will come now if I want to click on this or I want to type something on this I will directly take this X path and I will say send keys again I will use my username mocase underscore 50 so let's run this test okay so now there's a trick and the trick is even though it is was it was matching with two nodes it clicked on the first one so this is the like, tricky question you might get in interviews what will happen if one x path which is matching two nodes and if it perform operation then it will always select the first element and it will perform the operation so in our case it automatically picked the first one and clicked now you can see it's not entering the username and I will tell you why. Now if you check closely this is coming inside a frame. So you can see this authen authy frame right authentication frame is coming. So first of all we need to switch to this frame then only we can perform operation. So even if you check Redbus and other application you will find same thing but it will come inside a frame. So if I want to click on sign up with Google, so you can see this is coming inside a frame, frame dot model frame. So always make sure in the my example, you will not find any frame because I have not created any frame. So you can see it's coming on top window. So just make sure before doing any operation, if it is coming inside frame or not, if yes, then you have to switch to the frame first, then only you can perform any operation. If you are new to this frame concept then I have already posted one video on how to handle frames in Selenium WebDriver. I will provide you the link in the description so you can go and watch that video first. So as we can see it's coming inside a frame so first of all I will find that frame. So I will go to this HTML tab and I will go to that uh, element. Now slowly I will scroll up and I just checked you can see the complete HTML is coming inside this frame. So we got this ID. So before doing any operation, I will switch to that frame first. So I will say driver dot switch to dot frame and I will provide the frame ID. This time it should work because we are trying to switch to the frame first, then we are performing any operation. And one more thing, until the page is not load fully, it will not move to this. So some, sometimes even if page is loading in the background, it will not move to the next statement. So once the full page is loaded, then only it will move to the line number 24, which is nothing but our username. So let's run this Java application. And you can see the page is loading in the background, even though it's not visible. Now the, you can see one ad also is coming in the background. It might take some time but it will enter email address. Yes, you can see it has entered Mukesh underscore 50. I have given the implicit, of, implicit weight of 30 even if you want you can decrease or increase. And 
it's very straightforward only you need to think uh, take care about the frame if it is coming inside a frame then switch to the frame first and then move first uh, then move forward so even if even in flipkart you will find this so many of the applications now adopting this kind of uh, bootstrap model and dialog window so if you see if i click on login this is coming and if i will if i will see whether it's inside frame or not yes in flipkart it is not inside a frame you can see it's showing top window so in some application frame will be there but not in every application so just go ahead and try all the scenarios okay so we are done now so just try with your application i got this code from internet success is achieved by and maintained by those who try and keep trying so keep trying with different application and let me know if you find any doubt thank you so much for watching this video you can share with your friend if you find this video useful hit the like button and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye